Okay, moving on. The Academy Award goes to two Israelis, a professor of engineering from Tel Aviv University, Professor Meir Feder, and his former student. The Academy Award for Scientific and Technical Achievement went to the team behind the Amimon chipset. Dr. Feder is here to talk about his great achievement, but first, here is a part of his acceptance speech. I must say that this is a very exciting day for me. Honestly, I never imagined that I'll be awarded an Oscar. I am a scientist working on information theory. I expected uh, prizes like the Turing Award, maybe the Shannon Award, and I did get quite a few professional awards, but Oscar, hey. Okay, so I understand this was very unexpected. Why don't you start by uh, telling us about the technology that won you this award? Okay, the technology we developed um, in Amimon is, um, I would say, the best way to transfer video wirelessly. Uh, we transfer the video uh, in its top quality and uh, with no delay, that's very important for many industries, and with full robustness. The link is stable and it never falls. Uh, as all of us experienced when, you, when we transfer video over Wi-Fi, let's say, there are many problems. The quality reduces, there is some delays, and sometimes the link goes up and down. We were able to build a video transmission technique uh, based rooted in a, a fundamental a scientific um, a principles that enabled all those properties that I just mentioned. And this technology uh, was incorporated into movie cameras. And uh, it was incorporated there because uh, they want the quality, the no latency, the no delay, and the robustness of the link. And they use it now uh, for any, any film, any movie that uh, is now being uh, pictured, um, almost any, uh, they use it with the new uh, movie cameras uh, on the set, and it gives them a lot of advantages. All right, uh, so if I just mentioned... Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> if I just mentioned two of them, one advantage is the fact that it becomes so convenient to set the set so that uh, it saves a, a lot of time on the movie set, and, and that costs a lot of money. Uh, they can now, in, a, in, a, in, in one day, they can uh, film um, and uh, maybe twice as much as they used to be with the old cameras. And the other thing is that it provided a creativity for the director. Now that the camera can move anywhere, uh, uh, <laughs> and uh, the director can see in real time many, movie, many cameras on the set, he can control them, and he can play with that, and he can make the movies much better. And this is our uh, contribution to this industry. So I understand that the technology is used all across Hollywood. Uh, I wonder if you were ever able yes. to visit a set for a movie that your technology was being used on. Did you ever get to go to Hollywood? Uh, uh, I actually didn't. Uh, I, I am the, uh, the scientist, the engineer, the, um, uh, I, but people from our companies, uh, from our company that uh, uh, were responsible for selling uh, uh, our technology uh, to the movie cameras, of course, they talked with the director, they visited the set, and uh, they were really able to tell us uh, how, uh, how much we contributed to the, uh, to the industry. Now, uh, you mentioned before that it was two of us, but actually it was four of us. It was me, it was uh, uh, Tzvi Reznik, who, who used to be my former PhD student, and additional two engineers from Amimon, Guy Dorman, who is the head of the algorithm group, and Ron Yogev, uh, who is the uh, VP of R&D of Amimon. And, all, and of course, there was a big team behind them that developed the chips and developed the technology. And uh, it's great to see that we can influence uh, such an important industry well, and get an Oscar. Congratulations to all of you. And I hope this is uh, only your first of many Oscars. Thank you so much for being with us today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much.